that uh, that anyone is serving God out of uh, out of uh, pure honorable motives because they have become cynical themselves for various reasons. Amen. They cannot see how honorable your actions are. They don't believe that your actions are really selfless or motivated of God because they're cynical within themselves. Say amen somebody. Amen. And if we don't watch out because of our past, we can become cynical ourselves. We see people who are serving God and and, and we can't understand their cause sometimes or their plight or their plans or their efforts because we have become cynical as a result of our own past. Say amen. amen. And so they can't see it because they can't perceive it. Yes, they sir. can't perceive it because they don't have any concept of what it is to truly serve God. How many know you must have some revelation in your own life? Amen. Amen. To understand other people's life. Yes, sir. Matter of fact, I discovered it's not in understanding the world around you that is your real illumination or edification to life, but it is in understanding yourself amen. that gives you freedom from yourself. Amen. Say amen, somebody. Amen. And so first you must perceive in order to conceive. Yes. Matter of fact, Mary had to had to to perceive that this thing was from God in order to conceive this thing that was going to be from God. Amen. If Mary would have denied the, the, the uh, prophecy that the angel was giving her and questioned it in a way of doubt, she never would have been able to perceive it. Why? Because she was a damsel and she did not, for whatever reason, uh -huh, believe that that thing could happen to her. But Mary doubted not, and she doubted not because she perceived that this thing was from God. Amen. And because she was able to perceive it, she was able to receive it. I yes. want to really make a note of that because if you can't perceive what's of God, you can never receive what's of God for your life. Amen. We have to have such discernment in our life that we begin to understand, amen, that God has a plan and a purpose for every one of us in here. I don't care how small, how large, how young, how old, what you think of yourself or what other people think of you, yes, God has a plan and purpose of your life. Amen. I used to say this all the time. If you woke up today, God ain't finished with you yet. Amen. Right. Amen. You may feel like it's just another day. You may feel the monotony of just mm. another church service or just another day that you're going through and have on some clothes you wore before. But I'm here to tell you and to serve notice that no day is the same in God. It's another opportunity, it's another privilege to do something for the Lord. Amen. And for the Lord, y'all ready for this? And for the Lord to do something for you. Amen. 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 And how many know when God does something, it ain't common? Yes. Somebody say amen. 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 David had to perceive himself that what he, uh, that, that what the Lord was trying to do in him was great. That's why you think about David, even in the fields of Palestine, in the hills, and in the pastures where he watched over dirty sheep, which was considered a peasant in a low-level job. Amen? Amen? But God had great plans for David. Amen. Amen? That even when the lion and the bear came, David thought enough of God. And because he thought enough of God and enough of the plans of God that he had for his life, the purpose that God had for his life, that he dared to stand up against the bear. Amen. 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 Most of us see problems and challenges and don't even realize that that is God giving us vision and giving us solution for those problems. We won't dare to stand up and to fight. Oh, I feel like I'm going somewhere with this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. We won't even dare to stand up. Somebody said your true life value is in the problem that you serve for somebody else. Amen. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's, that's just big. Amen. Your, your, your real value to the world and to the world around you is in the problems that you serve. I love one man even said, look at the world and look at life. And what do you see as a problem? Whatever you see as a problem is what God made you to solve. Amen. So if you see hungry people and that thing bothers you, then it's your job to feed them hungry people. Amen. 
Amen. We got a program called Food Delphia. Amen. Where they feed people who have no food. Somebody saw that as a problem and a dilemma, and they went about coming up with a program and calling people together who had the same calling, who also seen it as a problem, who money couldn't have went their selves, but to su uh, supply them and to uh, finance them and to resource them so that they could feed the homeless. Amen. Say amen, somebody. Amen. Jesus deals with this because he knows that this is a big issue that plagued humanity. Amen? Amen. And he understood scenic people, cynical people. I thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Cynical people. He spoke about it in the Sermon of the Mount. I love the way he addressed it because we really don't see ourselves this way. Amen. He says in the sixth chapter of the book of Matthew, he says, the lamp is the light of, is the light, it, it, the lamp of the body is our eyes. If therefore thou eyes is healthy, the whole body shall be full of light. Amen. 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 And so turn this speaker down a little for me, somebody.